Thunder and sky are such strong nature phenomena that many mythologists have viewed them as a manifestation of a divine entity. According to Baltic mythology, this deity who rules over thunder and sky is called Pakunas. Most information about Pakunas comes from folklore songs, legends, and stories. Pakunas' image, representations and attributes share certain similarities to thunder gods found in different mythologies, such as Norse, Roman and Greek. In most of the depictions he is portrayed as a middle-aged man, similar to that of Thor in Norse mythology. But in some, the god is described as an old man, similar to Zeus in Greek mythology. How the god came into existence is not known, but Pakunas became one of the most worshipped and recognized deities among believers. He is the second most important deity in the Baltic pantheon after Daivas, the primordial supreme god of the pantheon. It is very unclear how the Baltic believers describe the creation of the world. But it is known that the mythology credits the supreme god Daivas to play a huge part in it. The myths also claim the triad of gods also takes part in the creation of life. This triad of gods is made with the union of Pakunas, who is the god of thunder and sky, the sea god Patrimpo, and god Pachulas, who is the god of the underworld. The Baltic triad of gods is very similar to the well-known Greek god triad, consisting of Zeus, Poseidon and Hades. So it could be assumed that the Baltic god triad plays a similar role to that of the Greek god triad. Just as Zeus, Pakunas holds the most prominent role in the triad. The main difference between the two gods is, Pakunas is not considered the supreme god as Zeus, but the executioner of the supreme god's commands, similar to Thor, who is the executioner of the commands of the Norse supreme god Odin. As for many myths, the wife of Pakunas is identified as Zemina, who is the goddess of earth. After Pakunas fell in love with Zemina, he became a creative force and formed all living beings, including vegetations on earth, as a gift to his wife. To nourish the creation on earth, Pakunas would provide rain from the sky. So Pakunas is not only the deity of thunder and sky, but also considered the personification of lightning, storms, rain, fire, war, law, order, fertility, mountains, and oak trees. The first thunder that strikes earth at the end of the winter is believed to be Pakuna's command to awaken the earth and stimulates it to blossom, marking the beginning of spring. With this thunderbolt, Pakuna's releases the first spring dew on earth. So it was prohibited to plow or sow before the first thunder, because it would anger the god and he would not strike the first lightning of spring, and the earth would be barren. Together with Zemina, Pakuna's had four sons, who later became the cardinal directions which are north, east, south and west. Other stories identify Saul, the sun goddess, as the first wife of Pakunas. Saul together with Menules, the moon god, illuminated the world. But Saul cheated on Pakunas with Menules. Angered by his wife's actions, Pakunas split the time as day and night, and trapped Menules in the night and Saul in the day so the lovers would not meet. Disregarding this punishment, Menules continued to entangle romantically with other goddesses such as Orsrine, the morning star. So Pakunas struck the moon as punishment. This did not stop Menules from changing his actions. So Pakunas continued to punish Menules. This is what is believed to be the cause of the lunar cycle. The moon will reduce because of the Pakuna's punishment, and it would regenerate as Menules heals from the wounds. Pakuna's is also described as a mighty warrior. So he is believed to carry many weapons. But the god does not seem to appear during war, and his warrior skills are used to fight evil spirits. Of the many weapons, the most well-known ones are arrows and an axe. Pakunas is identified as the sky smith as well. The lightning is caused from the arrows, and when they run out, the god himself would forge them. These arrows are said to be forged with magical fire as well, 
and that is why Baltic people sometimes referred to lightning as sky fire or heavenly fire. His followers would often wear small axes to protect themselves from evil. Pakunas is said to ride a two-wheeled chariot across the sky. The chariot is thought to be made from red iron or fire. In some legends the chariot is harnessed by two white goats and in others by two white horses. Some legends claim that these animals attached to the chariot are made from stone or metal. Pakunas pursue evil spirits with this chariot and would strike them with his lightning arrows. The god in his chariot would be identified with the constellation of Ursa Major. Thunder is said to occur when the chariot moves. Also, there is a belief that the god possessed two stones, and when these two stones collide it causes thunder. One of the well-known myths in Baltic mythology is the dispute between Pakunas and Velnias, who is a demon from hell. Velnias would steal the fertilizers and cattle from the land. He would hide in hollow trees, under stones, or turns into various animals. He could take any form, a black cat, a dog, a pig, a goat, or even a person. When Pakunas finds Velnias he strikes him with a lightning bolt, which explains the reason for the rainless thunder. So thunder and lightning are considered to be sacred phenomena that ward off evil from the land. Because the oak tree is considered as the sacred tree of Pakunas, many of his temples would have an oak tree near the idol. The priests would strike the flint stones in their hands and create a forever lasting fire at the temple. They use only oak wood to burn in the fire and make sure that the flame doesn't go out. So the flame would burn all day and night in worship of Pakunas. When a Northern European tribe named Teutons invaded the west coast of Lithuania, they found a wooden shelter beneath an oak tree where an eternal fire was kept burning by pagan priests. The oak tree nearby was hallowed, and inside the hollow tree was an idol of Pakunas. Pakunas was mostly worshipped when the land is struck by a drought. The priests of Pakunas temple would perform a special ritual in the thick forests on hills and sacrifice a black calf, a black goat, and a black cock to the god. Once the sacrifice was made, a meal and a drink are first dedicated to the god. It is brought before a fire. After performing a special ritual, the food and the drink is poured into the fire, asking Pakunas to bless the land with rain. This symbolizes that the first meal of the ritual is offered to the god. Afterwards, people from all the neighboring lands would join together to eat and drink. Just as in many mythologies, even though the god is one of the most prominent deities in Baltic mythology, because of the lack of documentation many of the myths have been lost with time. But it is evident that the god played a crucial role in the beliefs of the Baltic people. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much my Patreon and subscribers for your amazing support. If haven't already and if you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by being a Patreon, a YouTube member, and a subscriber. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in another story to tell.